Hi there, it's Rob, uh, Rob Anderson again. I'm doing this video now for you on how to install WordPress onto your, onto your hosting. Um, a number of things I need to point out here. Firstly, obviously, if you've taken the free um, WordPress installation from me by using my affiliate links, um, I would do this all for you. Um, you could go to a place like Fiverr, um, fiverr.com, the two R's. Um, and almost any other place and for a low fee they will do it for you um, there's a very high chance that your hosting company will do this for you too if you if you contact support and say, say please help please help um, <coughs> they will very likely just click it on for you so it's, it's not a huge issue it's what you do with your website after that that takes the time Okay, there's another way of installing it that I'm not going to show you now, and that's called FTP, File Protocol Transfer or something. Um, it's where you log in to your control panel, this panel, through software, which I would normally use FileZilla. Um, it's a free download, and you can install FileZilla and, and learn from their training and on YouTube videos how to use it. And it works pretty cool too. Um, but the quickest is to log into your cPanel, and go through the process like this. If it's a very, if if it's your very first um, site on the hosting, there's a chance that on the file manager under your, so you click on file manager and you go to your files there and see if they've got an image and um, an index file there. If they have, delete the index file and delete the image file, and you now have got an empty hosting ready to install WordPress. Secondly, if you've bought your domain from somewhere else, you would have had to go to where you bought that domain from and come go on to them with these down the bottom of your cPanel here are called things called name servers. And you would have had to take these two name servers and edit the name servers on your where you bought the domain so that that domain place knows to send the domain details to here okay so you would have to fix your name servers too you would also have had to if it wasn't done for you by your hosting um, check to see that your site is here as an add-on domain now back to this normally if it's new hosting the hosting company will ask you what's your domain and you would in this case in my case I would say my domain is smallbusinessopportunities.co.za with hyphens that's my URL and they would probably create a, 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 an, a domain for it and therefore it's done already so you instead if not you just go click on here to add on domains go into it and look to see if your website is in there I'm gonna click on mine I've got a lot of sites on here so you, you would add it here if it's not added um, and if not, you'd, you'd just look to see on, on this which one is. Um, I, in fact, recently bought two domains, recently, probably a month or two ago, and I haven't added them, and I could have done that now. But it's not serious. It's easy enough to do, and if not, you get your hosting guys to help you with it. Um, all right, so now the actual installation of WordPress. If you were installing um, a, a variety of WordPresses, <laughs> does that make sense? You could, in other words, you've still only got one domain, but you want to have um, some subdomains. So you would go back to your add-ons here, and you'd do subdomains, and you'd create the subdomain. Um, in fact, let me go and create one. So as you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I would like to create a subdomain under my small business opportunities, and let's call it WordPress training so so let's say that's what I wanted my domain to be and I'd literally click create and I would now have a new website which is still it's a subdomain and so now I've got something that I'll show you so I've successfully successfully created it what happens with this now is um, it's now got a MySQL database and all sorts of things added, um, which all exist in here. So if I go down here now, somewhere in this lot, 
will be that that I've just created on that subdomain. Here we go, WordPress training, small dot small business opportunities, COSA. So I could click here, remove the whole thing if I wanted to. For now, I'm not going to. I'm going to click on back to the home cPanel. I'm going to now go and install WordPress. Now, in this next phase, I have made another video on this too, by the way, but just to run through it again, there are a lot of different options in cPanels on how to do that. But generally, if you go down to software and service, there's a, a system that's called Softaculous that is lovely. Um, you could probably go into WordPress self-help tools. Let me have a look. It's got a host go to a plugin system that's not necessarily good. By the way, with HostGator, it's a new system um, that, well, so that's not somewhere I want to be. Um, I have to tell you, even though I'm still currently got two of my my websites, my cPanels, lots of my websites on HostGator, um, where I to start again today, I'm happy enough with them, so I'm not complaining. I would probably use another A2 hosting, perhaps one of those, the South African one, Stallion, one of those. Okay, so let's go back down to here. In my case now, I'm going to need to use Quick Install. So you would use Softaculous Quick Install, something that it says something to do with WordPress. Now, I have created an account of Quick Install so they know about me. Hi, Design Smith, it says my installs, my purchases, etc. So I'm already in here. Um, I would simply go to WordPress and I need to do install WordPress so as far as I know I hit that button and it arrives here now I created that new one so it's already here it was WordPress training small business there we go WordPress training etc it's not going to have a folder domain um, I could have done small business opportunities etc and created one here that says WordPress there, I had an example earlier that was called new blog. Um, okay, and then you will just complete the details. In all of these um, dashboards, when you get to installing WordPress, it's going to ask you for this sort of thing. This one does the least. Um, it makes me a little nervous because it doesn't ask you for quite a lot of things that, that I normally have seen in the others. But really speaking, you make sure that this doesn't go under. In others, it, it, it's already pre-populated with WP, if I'm correct, and you need to clear it. So I would put in an admin email here. I would give it a blog title. And my username would be whatever I wanted it to be. And my first name, last name, and literally install WordPress. It's that simple. They're going to take a little bit of a moment to try and sell me something. Um, I'm a web designer. Whoa. That's it. View credentials. And I now have these. This is absolutely vital. Do never forget this. This, you have to save. Look at that. They've sent me an email already to tell me about it. So you need to save these details somewhere safe in a note thing. Um, it sent me an email too anyway, remember I put you admin email and it, so it's given me the details and I'm now able to literally click this and it's going to go to the login of my new website. So I'm going to close quick install, I really don't need it again anymore. I take my username which was Robert, I put my new password in which by the way they've given to me so I would go and change it immediately. Um, and that's it. I've now logged into my website and WordPress training dot small businesses business opportunities COSA is now live and I'll click save. I now click up here to visit site and here we go. I've got a brand new WordPress website installed albeit a little bit ugly and, and, and sad. Um, really shabby looking as per what an empty website would look like remember you change your theme or work with this theme and how you add your text and images is how you will get it to look in the future uh, everything is up in here so from here I'm going to go into the next video which will show you how to work on your dashboard
Um, so just to finish off though, make sure you keep your login username and password safe and secure that you can always do the logging in. And um, that's it. Welcome to your WordPress website. We will go in and work on this one. In fact, I'll probably use this one. I won't delete it as of yet. I will change the password when you guys aren't looking. So that I can go ahead and uh, use this for all of these videos. Cool. Take care. Thank you. Cheers.